a huge mountainous ridge measuring up to 20 kilometers tall, twice the size of Everest, and approximately 200 kilometers thick can be seen running exactly along the equator of Ipatos for well over three quarters of the moon's entire circumference. Why do so many employees from space programs and researchers believe that our solar system is full of artificially made structures? This should no longer be taboo. Jim Mars points out in his Our Occulted History that it's one of the moons of Saturn that's considered by many researchers to be artificial. He writes, Iapetus the planet's third largest moon, has puzzled researchers since its discovery by Italian astronomer Giovaxania Domenico Cassini in 1671. Like our own moon, Iapetus is in a near-perfect circular orbit and one side always faces its planetary host. But even more publin are square and hexagonal taters that, according to one former NASA employee, appear to be gigantic artificial plants holding the moon together, mocking Iapetus resemble nothing so much as the Death Star in George Lucas's film Star Wars. The point is, no one can adequately explain this huge, and what appears to be the tallest mountain range in our entire solar system, as far as we know. It's impossible to hypothesize exactly how it was formed and why it's confined, exactly, to the equator. The cause of the Moon's unusual inclined orbital plane is also completely unknown. This is the common theme you will find among planetary scientists regarding these pictures. Authors Tobias Owen and Donald Goldsmith hypothesized that the unusual Moon is the only object in the solar system which we might seriously regard as an alien signpost a natural object deliberately modified by an advanced civilization to attract our attention. So yes, strange things seem to be going on in our solar system, especially with moons. The name Iapetus is interesting, I often wonder about Greek mythology, and other areas like anthropology, and how much information has been kept from us. Things are clearly not as we've been told. If we ever openly go to these places in our solar system we could all imagine jaw-dropping discoveries would be made. Perhaps the black budget world already has made some, perhaps we're not even allowed up.